You know those days where you just get a huge haul on just any random day and it feels like your birthday, it feels like Christmas, you guys know that feeling and I just had one of those moments here. I came home from college to this amazing haul of prototypes and canceled cars and my first instinct was I gotta make a video about this. There's just so many awesome things in this haul I wanna share with you guys. So this video will be a little longer most likely, so settle in, enjoy it. We got some prototypes and some interesting canceled cars you guys might not know about. So I wanna inform you and I want to do something a little bit different than I did in my last prototype video where I just showed you all the prototypes. This time I wanna actually compare the prototypes to the actual releases because I feel like it would be robbing you guys a little bit if I didn't compare them because some of them are just super interesting. I mean, just look at the cool colors that they use on these prototypes. It's really neat and so I thought no better way than to share this with you than to do a video, get your popcorn, settle in and enjoy the show here. We're gonna start with kind of, this is gonna be kind of like a, you know, unorganized yet fun video here because I got a whole bunch of stuff on my table and it's not really organized, but we're going to work our way through it. Starting with these prototype pities that you can kind of see scrambled here in the front. So I got actually three of each. There were three prototype pities. I was able to get three of each. And we're gonna start with this white one here. This is actually a prototype of the Easy Idle Pity. You can see that the models match. And also since he's white kind of, I mean the color really doesn't matter. He could have been purple for whatever reason, but you know, the white does kind of lend itself toward the idea of it being easy idle. He has a red base, kind of a pink forklift, purple tires, which is my favorite thing about prototypes. And they're also not perfect. You can see that there's some chips on there, which gives it character. There's some Sharpie marks up here. There's like a drill hole, which a lot of these prototypes have. And I'll be sure to point it out. It's kind of strange, but I like the Sharpie mark because that makes each of them unique. So if you were to order a prototype, yours is probably going to come with a different Sharpie mark, which makes yours one of a kind. And so that's, you know, one of the things I just love about prototypes. Most of them are unique. Many of them have all these interesting, just exotic colors. You can see a little red thing back here, but yeah, easy idle pity. And I was able to get three of them. So this one here, this one has two orange tires in the front. So again, I just love that they're all unique. P1644, I have no idea why that one has such a long number. That's just eight. This guy here is 10. He's got all purple tires. So we're gonna set those kind of off to the side now. I do wanna kind of make this somewhat organized. So we're gonna have to clean things up here. Moving on to the next pity. This is, I think it's Packy. If it's Techie, I'm sorry, but I never really discovered which one was which. I never memorized who was Techie and who was Packy. But of course you could tell that this one is this one because of the mouth. He's not screaming like the other guy is. And the forks are bent very much so inwards, which is a little strange because these are pretty parallel. You can see the nice little bandana, it's like a turquoise. So you can see that that part of the bandana is metal and then that part's a plastic piece, which I never really realized before. So that's interesting. He's got like some orange tires too. Now, these ones did not have any Sharpie marks. They did, most of them came with like a little piece of like tape on the top though, like a little square patch of tape. I peeled that off. Who knows what that came from, but I just didn't like it. Maybe it was actually meant to be there from the prototype factory, but I just didn't wanna have it there. So I removed them and that's why I'm feeling a little stickiness on the top. The last pity I have here is Bruiser Bukowski. Of course, one of Chick Hicks's pities. Now this poor guy got one of his forks all chiseled up Looks like he's stuck into the fire or whatever. But again, adds character. Same with that tire. Look at that tire. Look at both of them. They're very, very strangely shaped. And this guy's got like some sort of scratched grid on him there. There's the drill mark, some chips. Yeah, this guy's not in good shape at all. This guy's in better shape though. He's got a nice looking fork. Now, the thing about this guy is that you can tell it's a unibody. Like there's no separate piece there for the mouth, whereas on the actual Bruiser Bukowski there is. You can see the cracks 
or the outline around the mustache and the mouth there. So this is potentially like a prototype of a canceled release of like a unibody bruiser Bukowski. So I find that kind of interesting. Here's the third one. This guy's got a lot of chips. Yeah, I just found that kind of interesting. I wanted to point that out. It could be that they intended to re-release Bruiser Bukowski as a unibody and then they canceled him because he was never released like that before. Moving on now to this flow with Trey here. I do have two of these. I really did try and buy as many as I could because otherwise they'll go to like scalpers. Like, trust me, you could already look up on eBay Disney Cars prototypes and you'll find some of these for sale for hundreds of dollars, which is about six times the original price. By the way, if you want to find the seller, they're actually featured in my Precision Series video that I did a couple days ago where I showed off those canceled Precision Series releases. There's a little drill bite there. But I'm not going to really feature them here because the seller, you know, I said in that video, they're actually a decent seller. They're decent, but they kind of mess around a little bit. They play around. Like I ordered a couple other things from them the other day and two days later they canceled it. And then two days later they refunded me. That's just, that's not really how you should do business. I love the red base here in the acrylic window. Very cool. But yeah, if you're going to, first of all, you should know what's in stock. You shouldn't put stuff falsely available and then have people buy it and then have to cancel it on them. And then if it is in stock, like if it's an honest mistake, then you should refund it immediately and not take four days. That's just kind of my take on it there. Up next, I got this Acer with gun here. Now this one has like a little Sharpie mark. No idea what that means. And this guy does not. Now the cool thing about this is that these guys were released, you know, with Acer when he had that cart. And so, yeah, the cart, yeah, I guess, yeah, there's the hole where the cart would fit in. The gun is not painted at all, but you can kind of see the detailing around the fenders there. So they did almost complete this guy. They just didn't paint the gun and add the eyes and some of the decals here in the back. But otherwise, he's probably one of the most completed prototypes I have here today. So yeah, he's kind of one of my least favorites because of that. Still very cool to have though. Don't get me wrong. I got this dock with headset here. This guy's pretty cool. Not one of my favorites because again, he's blue, which is his normal color. And I like when things are these exotic, wacky colors. But the headset's like that pink. It's like a salmon color. You can see there's like the little drill bite, as I like to call it. You can see so many blemishes. So that just really gives a character. You got a bunch of Sharpie marks here. The base is this like gunmetal gray, which is very interesting because he's got a chrome base in reality. The wheels are also not painted, no decals. So he's pretty cool, just not one of my favorites, but popular for sure though, because Doc Hudson is a very popular character. Next up is a Lightning Storm, a Lightning McQueen. Now this guy is also one of my least favorites just because of the fact that he's not very different from the actual release. It's just like somebody somebody could have theoretically removed all the decals and then just called it a prototype. But since I know the source is legit, I mean all these other prototypes are obviously legit. Some of them just get more completed than others. Now this guy's also a unibody, but I'm pretty sure Lightning Storm, Lightning McQueen's recent release in like 2013 was a unibody. But the one you're looking at here is from like 2008, which is when they were into moth plates. Let's get them out of here. My camera does not like blue cars, so that's why the camera lighting got a little funky there. Here we got Brian Gierlewski. Now it's funny, this is the one car I forgot to actually bring out the normal version of, but thankfully I have the Thailand version on my table from when I did the review of him and Terrell Geertree. So that is... That is luck right there. That is pure luck. I did get two of Brian because I really like him. I like the red color and I like the black headset. This guy's still in stock the moment I'm recording this video for $25.99, I believe. Tires are a little different shade of orange there. Actually, since this is the Thailand release, I would assume that this orange would match the Chinese version. But yeah, you could get this guy. 
Possibly. I mean, when I upload this, he might not be in stock, but they do a multiples of, they do a multiples of a lot of these prototypes, which is a good thing because, you know, you kind of get the best of both worlds. They're unique because of the Sharpie marks sometimes, and everybody kind of has a chance to get them and they're decent prices. Win, win, win for me in my personality, my personal opinion. Anyway, here's Alexis Wilson. I got three of this guy because I just love deluxe prototypes and the fact that all of the pieces are of like a different color here. You got like a red base, yellow bumper, orange side view mirrors and lights, orange tires in the back, kind of like a black cab or whatever, the back trailer, and then a yellow base along with the bumper there. So that's just really, really cool. And again, this guy is actually in stock the moment I'm recording him or recording this video as well. They have like five of them available. I keep like my eyes on it at all times just in case, you know, he posts some new prototypes. There are some I missed, unfortunately. I did miss some nice ones, but again, there's multiples of each. So who knows, they might come back in stock. So you always want to add these listings to your watched. So then you can, you know, go to them easily. Just kind of check them like every two hours or so especially like in the early morning and late night because that's when the Chinese people are awake. Because otherwise, like right now when I'm recording this, it wouldn't be too smart to check because they're probably all sleeping. All right, moving on now to, who should we go to? Let's take a boring one. My least favorite prototype is this World Grand Prix Lightning McQueen. Again, one of those ones where you could just say, oh, he just removed all the decals. Very possible, but I do know the source and I trust it. So I picked one up, missing the spoiler, missing all the decals. It does have the wheels though, even though the tampo is wearing off. Kind of like a cruising Lightning McQueen almost. I like that. Let's go with another boring one. Hydraulic Ramon. So both of these are still in stock the moment I'm recording this. But I don't intend on uploading this for a while, so I really shouldn't say that, but I'm giving you an idea of the ones that are more popular, I guess. Trying to give you guys a full experience here. So the funny thing here is that the colors are way different. Like this is more of like a pinkish purple, and this is definitely like a violet purple. So I do actually like that. It makes him a little more exciting to me. No license plate or decals on the taillights. It would have been cool if these hydraulics were like a different color. Like what if they were pink? That'd be so cool. Wow, that'd be sweet. All right, so let's go over now to this Dynaco showgirl here. The camera quality's gonna get a little wacky. My camera or iPhones in general just don't like blue things. It's weird. Again, decals could have been removed, but still a prototype like there. The rims are not painted, which is a nice little feature there. Tail lights aren't painted. And of course the little TR is not either. By the way, I made sure that this one matched the expression because the other showgirl, even though you can't tell because of the eyes, so you have to look at the mouth, the other showgirl, her mouth is closed. So that's how I knew that it was this one. Alrighty, who we should go with next. How about this Fillmore right here? So this is a little bit different kind of prototype. First of all, we don't even know how this guy's going to be released. Like maybe he's canceled, who knows? But even if he is canceled by definition, that would make him a prototype. But let me show you guys here and explain a little bit more visually. So this is the pit crew member Fillmore that we're used to, we know and love. This is like this new version that popped up. He's got this number on his roof there, which means he's an engineering prototype. So that means it was completed, but then it was coded because they didn't want it to go out and he has no date stamp there. And he also has this hitch, which is very strange. So it's like they kind of took the hitch from the road trip version here, as you can see, and then put that on a pit crew member Fillmore and then changed up the expression and the way that they designed the headband a little bit. So very interesting there. We'll see, maybe he'll be like in the fan favorites or something. Some people have speculated that he'll have like a cart behind him of some McQueen gear, hence being in the fan favorite series. 
So who knows? We'll see what happens. Let's go on now to Nate Estancione. So this guy's pretty sweet as well. Here is the normal version. So a Mini Cooper, of course. You got the red side view mirrors and antenna. Unpainted goggles. Pencil is white. I got a few of these because they were pretty cheap at the time. So I got three. Base is this kind of like tan color. I do like to get multiples. Again, like I said, scalpers will get them. And I also like to trade them for other things that I don't have. But yeah, not going to go resell these for sure. That's what a lot of people do though. That's what I'm not a fan of. Let's go on to the minis that I got here. So there are two mini prototypes that were available. This one here is actually still available the moment I'm recording this. And it is just of like your typical mini. Same color, but the eyes are obviously wiped out and replaced with this kind of white plastic insert there. But everything else is pretty much the same. No taillights or license plate. And then there was this mini prototype, which is actually of the Lost in the Desert version, which came out in 2015. I love the red tinted windows on this one. I just find that really, really cool. And of course, you got the kind of worried expression there. Taillights aren't painted. There's no dirt detailing like there is here. You can see that the tires are all muddy too, which is not how it is here on Mini. And you got that pink base, which is pretty sweet. This one had just a normal base, by the way. So yeah, it's cool that they had two versions of Mini as a prototype. I thought that was pretty sweet. Who should we go with next? How about the Maters? So we're going to start with this Mater here. Mater with all in all cans. So I love this guy. Still available as I'm recording this, by the way. Because you can see the whole insert in the back here is like a pinkish red. I just love that style. With the kind of gunmetal gray towing section. There's the drill bit. Side view mirrors are of the pink color. Hood is red, or the engine's red. He doesn't have a hood. Now what's interesting about this Mater is that he doesn't have the expression that the release version has. His expression actually seems pretty similar to the Airport Mater that was released a couple, several years ago actually now. And this Mater just had that kind of imprint of the 95 logo that he removed, and that's why he's all sad, because he's supposed to go back to Radiator Springs. But yeah, maybe I feel like there's another Mater that has a better expression. Actually, I think Waiter Mater has this expression too. I probably should have pulled that one out. But the expression, the mouth is the same as the release version. So I probably should have pulled out that version. I just can't remember everything. There's so many different things going on here. But I did get a few of this version as well. It's a nice prototype to have for sure. Next Mater here is this Beanie Hat Mater. Nothing too special, still available while I'm talking. This front portion here is not painted, which is the moth plate. Eyes are absent. And then the back portion here is kind of that same color as the front, that just kind of subtle, just straight up brown, kind of like a brownish orange. Not the rust style that they do. Also, the rims are not painted. Base is the same though. Now, I also have from previous acquisitions, this prototype beanie hat mather. So it's kind of cool now to have two prototypes of it. And that's pretty exciting. This one's a little cooler to me because he's got the black hat instead. And the front portion of the mather here is a slightly different color. So yeah, it's kind of cool to see that they made like different prototypes for the same car. Very cool there. That's what I love about collecting. You can get kind of cool stuff like that going on. Next up, I got this Mater. Now this one's not too hard to get. There's quite a few of these going up for an auction. If you were to just Type in on eBay Disney Cars Prototype. You should be able to find an auction for this guy. 
So the front half is this bare metal here, and he does seem to be just a prototype of typical Mather, so that's probably why there's so many of him, because Mather is mass produced. Hood is that kind of orangish color. Eyes are blanked out. Back half is that kind of color that you guys saw on the beanie hat maters. I think the bare metal is a really cool feature that you don't see in many prototypes. So he's really cool, I like him a lot. Moving on to the mater I'm sure you guys have all been waiting for, of course, cone teeth mater here. So a release or a prototype of a canceled release until just now where Cone Teeth Mater was released from Thailand. However, this is a Chinese prototype. So it would match this canceled release, which is by definition also a prototype, but it's a completed one for the release of Cone Teeth Mater that was supposed to come in 2016. This is definitely one of my new favorite prototypes. I just love the fact that the cones are like this pinkish color. The base here is, or the body is black. The engine's that gray color. The roof is this other weird color, side view mirrors. And towing cables are this pale kind of, I don't even know what to call that. It's kind of like a pale beige tan or whatever. Then you got this blue part in the back here, darker blue stables up there, black wheels, black rims, light gray base. Just very cool, a really cool prototype without a doubt. I don't have the Thailand version of Cone Teeth Mater opened yet, but when I do my review of him, I will show all three of the versions I have. So definitely that's my favorite prototype. I think, and then my second favorite is the Outback Mile. So this is a legit prototype of a canceled release here. You can see I have, again, the completed version. I think I did a review on him. Maybe, maybe not. I got a bunch of this one. So again, they made quite a few, which is interesting to me. This guy's got a little Sharpie smudge here on the front. They all got that little drill bit but they're all at different placements. So again, unique, one of a kind. I just love how every part of him is a different color. That is just so cool to me. They even put a lot of work into these prototypes, which is just cool. Some people, like some of my friends, they're not really interested in prototypes. They just kind of focus on the releases that Mattel puts in stores, and that's cool, but I don't know, it's kind of like an acquired taste for these. There's some people that are super duper into it, some people that just don't really care. I also have this version here that really went through warfare. Like he lost the accessories on the side, the bungee cords are all off, he's missing some of that luggage on the top there. But again, just makes it cool to have, something that's a little different. All right, we're grinding through here. What do we go with next? Let's get that focus in there. Let's go with this Bunny McQueen, as he's being called now by collectors. So this was in the Mater Easter Bunny book. I don't know the name. Mater Saves Easter. I don't know. Maybe it's Mater Save Christmas or whatever. And then the Easter one's called something else. Not entirely sure, but he appeared in that and he was supposed to be released, but this guy was canceled, unfortunately. I did get a few of these, two of which are like more, or kind of hard to explain here, but these are less completed prototypes as the back rims are not painted. And then my third one here is pretty much complete. And it is just the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup McQueen in the Cars 3 body style. So you know how they kind of thin them out. I think it is the Cars 3 body style. Yeah, for sure. So here is the Easter McQueen that they actually released with the paint smudge. You can tell that this one's thinner using the Cars 3 design for McQueen. So it's kind of a mix of two movies there. You're going with a paint job from Cars 2 and kind of a design model from Cars 3. And obviously you got the cute little bunny ears on top here. Nice little plastic accessory. 
Not really a big release or anything like that, but one that kind of fell by the wayside. Who should we go with next? How about while we're on the topic of McQueen's? We got these two black ones here I showed in a video before. I think the Precision Series 1. So these might glow in the dark. I've yet to attempt it. But you can kind of tell by the decals that it does look like they may have the capacity or the capability to glow in the dark. Either way, though, it's cool to have such a different colored McQueen. Black with these interesting decals. And they do have these little codes here. I forgot to show that with the uh, Bunny McQueens. They have codes right below the spoiler. So 237, 226, 228. So they're all kind of around the same for each specific character. So 170 and 158. I do have a third one, but he's taking a nap right now. Let's go to probably one of my favorites from the bunch here, probably my second favorite just behind Cone Teeth Mather, and that is this canceled Darren Leadfoot from the Thomasville Tribute series that was exclusive to Walmart. So unfortunately, it seems like that series been discontinued along with like Fireball Beach, and this guy just didn't make it before they put the hammer down. You can see that code there, 053. It is engraved, so you can run your finger across it and feel it. But this is a really cool release. He probably would have been my favorite from the series. Darren Leadfoot, Franklin, Tennessee, hometown. Packaged goods, Southern Gold Gasoline, high test. Some may think that he looks very similar to the paint job of Duke Coulter's. And while he does, he's not supposed to be honoring or serving as a tribute to Duke Coulters. They have different sponsors and the way that their format is set up is different. All right, all right, all right. Who we got next? I'm looking around. How about Emily Engine back here? So this is a mystery to me. The fact that pretty much all the like Cotterpin cars, so many of the cars from this era were made in Thailand, and she was supposed to be a super chase, actually, and she came out of China. Like, this canceled version came out of China. It wouldn't have made sense if she was canceled, but it was the prototypes were made in Thailand. I have no idea why Emily got delegated to be made in China, and then it seems like they've canceled her. She doesn't seem to be on any future case lists. So I'm happy to have these two here. They do have a little engraving back here, 129 and 133. She is still available though. She's kind of expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth it for a canceled car. Because when you're older and you're like, hey, I kind of want an Emily engine now, probably won't be any available or you'll have to pay hundreds of dollars. And that's how it goes for canceled cars of the past that I would want now that I missed back in the day. So I don't take any risks anymore. I tell myself if I'm spending a little bit of money more than usual, I tell myself these opportunities don't come along every day. And two months from now, it could be a dry season. All right, that might be everybody. Actually, it's not. I see my favorite back here. One of my favorites, Sharps. So this is the plane. The only planes prototype that they had, which I kind of found strange, but there weren't many of them, so I'm grateful to have gotten him. Got the gray wing here. You got red wings in the back, kind of red structured stabilizers here that connect to the wheels, white wheels themselves. See if I can get this thing to collapse. Come on, come on. Doesn't want to fall out. Okay. <laughs> Let's try the other one that I have here. Because I feel like that one was easier. I do want to show you guys. There it is. Yep. Sweet. So it's got like kind of a grayish purple thing in there with the white wheel attached to it. 
It doesn't hold up though, it's not very strong, so I always kind of keep it closed. Very different colors from the actual release of Sharps with the kind of yellow and black paint scheme. This is like a Christmas colored Sharps. Okay, I do have a few more here that I forgot about. Can't forget about some of these other kind of not so cool ones, but still they are nice to have. So Miss Further here, it does seem like Miss Further, Dr. Damage and RV are going to be released with muddy rubber tires in the near future. Maybe they're canceled though, I really don't know. But I got these prototypes of whatever it is and they have blue rubber tires, which is just so cool. It's so strange to see Miss Further with blue tires, but you can see that stamping there, 038. And then she has much more mud around her than the uh, typical release does. I completely covered that back bumper in mud, but the blue rims are obviously the main appeal here. And we got the same situation with Dr. Damage. His stamping is up here, 075. like how the wheels back here are like a little transparent. Don't see that every day. There was no RV available with blue wheels, but there was a Miss Further, Dr. Damage, and RV available with the just normal brown wheels, I think. Would be cool to get RV with blue wheels too. I'm sure there's probably one out there if there's one for these two here. Okie dokie. Got Brent Mustang Burger with headset. So now there's a ton of these on the market. You shouldn't have too much of a problem getting one if you do want one. A little bit of money, but I'd say $38 is pretty fair for a canceled car. He was supposed to actually appear in Cars 3, but they cut the poor guy. They cut Brent Mushburger, who plays Brent Mustang Burger, in favor of Bob Cutlass, I guess. But this guy does have some stampings too. They are just very, very faint. Like on this guy, you can hardly even see it. Probably, it won't even show up on the camera. These two though, it's a little easier to tell. 153 and 123. Yeah, you can see it perfectly in that angle. A lot of people are saying probably, isn't this the same as the one they released before? Not quite. The Cars 2 version has a different expression different mouth there and a different headset. I do prefer these nice ones from Cars 3 that have the yellow on them and they have the bigger antenna. Do be careful though, some of the Brent Mustang burgers are known to come with the antenna broken off. So just be careful. If it does, don't worry. Just send a message to seller or send the seller a message and ask for a refund or tell them to send you another one. They always will do that, trust me. If you work hard enough and you want it hard enough, they will do it for you. All right, guys, my table is an absolute mess right now. I'll give you a nice little preview here. An absolute mess. But I think I covered everybody. I probably missed somebody, I'm gonna feel bad about it. I think I did get everybody. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section below which prototype, which canceled car is your favorite. There's a lot to choose from here, I know, but I'm sure you guys probably got your eyes on maybe one of these two, maybe Darren over here. These are probably my favorites, along with Sharps. This Mater is also pretty cool too. But yeah, guys, I really appreciate your support in my kind of drought of videos, but I'm trying my best even though I am in college. It's just tough doing videos when I'm not even home. So I just gotta record them when I do come home for those few days. But anyways, I'll see you guys shortly for another video. Bye now.